Remember, people, the madness doesn't stop. Mm. They're still crazy. As I told you the other day when I put the Sweet Baby Ink video out, the problem isn't just Sweet Baby Ink. The problem is a much larger and much bigger wheel. Each little cog has its part, but they're all out to you over. They really are. Now, Warner Brothers, a company that has just released the biggest, shittiest game of the year, which was an utter mess. All their money went on movement because the movement was fluid in, in Suicide Squad, and I can grant them that. The movement was very fluid, but I think that's where all the money went because the rest of the game is a messy bag of crap. And Warner Brothers, in their enlightened form, because they are enlightened, want to focus on live service games. You heard me correctly. They've just released the biggest flop of the year. A live service flop. But that's what they want to focus on. Instead of single player games like Hogwarts Legacy, which, am I correct in thinking, sold very well? See what I mean? They're mad. They're crazy. It's all about diming people. Pickpocketing people. You see, the difference between Warner Brothers and, let's say, for instance, Helldivers 2, which was released not two weeks ago, three weeks ago. You see, they're both live service. That's a live service, too. Have you seen how much they charge on their store for clothes, items, skins, such forth? Maybe a quid fifty, maybe two quid. I.e. a dollar but a buck fifty, two dollars. Whereas Warner Brothers will charge you maybe thirty quid for a skin. Same with Call of Duty, same with Halo, same with all of them. All the big companies charge stupid prices, twenty, twenty five quid for a for a skin. Is that a microtransaction by the way? Because a microtransaction should be anything under five quid, anything under five dollars. That's what a microtransaction is. All these companies selling their skins at 30 quid, $30, and say, calling it a microtransaction are mental. That's not a microtransaction. That's the same price as a game. As a matter of fact, once you can buy one skin in Call of Duty, or you could buy Helldivers 2. That's a microtransaction. My ass. So anyway, this mad company, Warner Brothers, that's fucked up the whole DC universe in its entirety i don't know why they still own it i wish i wish somebody would buy it because they've just fucked it up totally and that annoys me with anger because i'm a superman fan um so they've decided they're going to focus on live service games instead of single one and done games they are mental they really are mental Maybe the next Hogwarts Legacy will be a live service game, eh? A magic live service game. It'll probably sell that as well. To be honest, there are people out there that'll buy that because it's got Harry Potter on it. Um, or to do with Harry Potter. Me, not so, I'm not so much my Harry Potter fan, but I know for a fact that that game's good. And if I did play it, I'd probably enjoy it. But I never will play it because I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, so... I just won't pick it up. There's no need. Um, so JB Perrett, head of Warner Bros. Brothers, recently made a statement about the company leaning more into the live services, free to play and mobile games rather than on single player console titles. They literally just want a nickel and dime us. That's all they want from us. And when I say us, I mean people like me. You see, I'm a casual gamer. I'm not a spend hours in front of a computer I can't, that's just not what i do me i'm a maybe three hours of a night with a friend and i sit on my sofa or i sit on my bed and i chill out on my xbox playing on a pc is very hard i, I just I, I can't do it because i have a proper i just can't do it i can't sit in a straight up chair for so long and it just kills me back so i'm too old so i just like to chill out so i'm a casual I'm a single dad. I've only got so much money and it ain't a lot. So I'll play two, three hours and that's it. I can't buy every game under the sun. Do you know what I mean? 
and Butler just want to nickel and dime me, and I, I just can't do it. It's the same with Ubisoft. Ubisoft do the exact same thing. But I do like Ubisoft games for the most part. Because as bad as they are, you don't actually have to buy the items in there. They will give them you through the game if you play it long enough. So I'm all for down for that. Um, so yeah, Warner Brothers are just mental. And they want to keep on going with the live service failure. It's like they just love putting money into bins and burning it. It really is. EA, EA have gone through, went through this. They went through the same thing. What was their game? Anthem. I remember that. Now Anthem started off really well when you started playing it. You were like, "Whoa, look at this!" And then it turned to absolute dog shit. But again, it was smooth, and it it really does me head in that they're so smooth, but the story and everything else about the gameplay is just dog shit. Live services need to go away. They really do. Unless they're done right, like Helldivers 2, as I say, people seem to be loving that. And they don't seem to be having any problems with it. Uh, Battlefield 2. Not Battlefield 2. Battle, what's the Star Wars one? Battlefront 2. Again, that is a good game. And it was made very well. And it, everything about it is great. But when they released it, it was all about nickel and dime in the customer. And the people are paying like 70, 60, 70 quid for these games. Some people even paying 100 quid for the game. They get all the little bits and bats. And it's, it's sad. It really is sad. Warner Brothers are going downhill, man. They really are. Though, I think they're releasing God, Godzilla vs. Kong in a couple of weeks. And I do want to watch that. <laughs> or Godzilla v Kong, Godzilla x Kong, whatever it is. I do love them Godzilla movies. Um, so yeah, Warner Brothers are stupid and they just want to carry on losing money. So that's up to them, innit? Idiots. Anyway, see you in the next one.